Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Traders Academy Club. In this video, I would like to share with you my weekly market analysis and the forecast for the coming week, 14 to 19 November to 2021. I hope you had a nice week and you enjoyed our uh, previous week uh, analysis. Uh, where we've had our uh, pound focus, pound dollar, pound yen. If you missed the video right now on the right uh, top corner, uh, you can find the direct link to the last week video. And uh, of course, you can uh, just uh, find it in uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, it was published on the last weekend. And for today, I have also two great opportunities that I would like to share with you. Okay. Um, so uh, let's begin. But Right before we jump on the chart, if uh, you are uh, new to this channel, first of all, welcome. Uh, welcome to our great community. And I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Just follow the subscribe button below the video. And remember to enable this uh, notification, uh, ring notification button. So you know when I upload my new content for you. And also I would like you to, to, to invite you to join us uh, to our trading family, the Traders Academy Club. And you can find the link below this video in the description and in the pinned comment. In Traders Academy Club, you would enjoy all our real-time trading ideas and trading education we do, again, in real time. Uh, so uh, what's for today? Uh, I have uh, prepared two instruments, two very interesting instruments, but one uh, little request before. If you enjoy this video, please hit this like button. Drop some feedback in the comment section. Your help and your support and uh, my work is very much appreciated and also very much needed for these uh, YouTube algorithms, how everything uh, works. Uh, so thank you very much in advance to all those of you who support and uh, who help. Uh, so uh, what do we have here? Sorry. Um, two instruments uh, that I want to share with you uh, that I find very interesting. My uh, two best picks for now, uh, before the week started, and that's the Euro Aussie and the Pound Yen. So the Euro Aussie, uh, I expect a very interesting um, bearish uh, continuation. And let me just draw my lines here. I'm using this uh, repeating question. This is my virtual uh, trading pen, and you can uh, get your copy. Uh, in our uh, in-house indicator in the blog, or again, you can find a direct link below the video in the description and the pinned comment. So I expect here a bearish continuation. And the reason for that is the following. Watching on the weekly chart with a massive move down started back then uh, with, with the pandemic, we got it in few waves. And currently we are in the what seems to be the last wave but I am not quite sure it's over. This low still holding, and there is a good chance, good chance that the market will try to uh, um, clean this low before it retraces big time. And this is pretty much uh, where I would like to find my opportunities. Now, watching on a daily chart, as I expect the weekly leg to the, um, complete, uh, we have two waves on the current weekly leg, right? The weekly leg is going here. We have two waves, one, two. The second one gains momentum and is bigger. And I anticipate we will get the last leg down. Uh, we're very likely to assume the weekly and the daily divergences would line up together. And we should, from there, be able to find opportunities for long. But this is likely to take time. And on the lower time frame here is what I see. We are in a place where we have a bearish hidden divergence on this uh, ongoing leg. Uh, without ending signs that completed, not the weekly, not the um, uh, daily, I'm looking on the four hour chart, and the four hour chart gives us sort of a mini contradiction. What do I mean by that? We don't have any ending divergence between the highs. And this is where it comes in play, one of the two possible scenarios, because from one end, the bearish hidden divergence already is coming in play on the daily. 
without any um, signs that this trend is really over. But on the other hand, the uh, four hour chart does not verify yet this divergence. And this is where we have two scenarios which I want to explain how I plan to follow them and trade them. The first one is that this current correction of the first rally will be over uh, somewhere around this zone. Just mark it somewhere around this area. Okay. Uh, from there, we should be able to see one more high, which would be probably final high, and the four hour chart would be able to complete complete a divergence. So we will get here lower highs on the MACD, higher highs on the price. And together with the daily hidden divergence that already building up, this could become an amazing opportunity. And from there, we are basically with the sell to join the weekly trend. The other option is what happens if the uh, hidden divergence on the daily chart already taking place. And for that, I want to, the bears to take the control. How do the bears take the control? By making lower highs, lower lows. So I want series of three lower highs, lower lows. So they develop the new momentum, the new trend to the downside, break the most recent low that we have here on the way, go down again this volume zone, as you can see here, a volume area from daily chart, right? Successfully hold below this area. And from there, back in pullbacks, and we can start looking for the sell direction as well. That's the two scenarios I have. Oh, yep, sorry, just, mm. yeah. Videos on. That's the two scenarios I have here uh, on uh, the Euro Aussie and um, the way I plan to trade it. One of these scenarios, and I'm looking for my sell opportunities. Now, the other opportunity, by the way, let me know what do you think about the Euro Aussie uh, in the comment section. Now, for the pound yen, this is where it's interesting. Our previous week plan was sell the rallies towards this uh, magnet zone here with volume zone here uh, and we got it we got a beautiful continuation to the downside and the question is what's coming next now on the longer view my idea here is that we are now in a corrective phase which means looking to sell the rallies i believe we are going back to this massive volume area and yes this is a weekly time frame so probably it will take more time however if we take a look on the uh, daily chart bouncing from an extreme situation where we got this high we got macd make histogram making completely new high rsi flirting with the 80 level we got the first reaction down coming to this massive volume area i expect that this first lag is coming to the end and we should be able to see some pullback here which after i believe would develop the next move down Watching on the four hour chart, and this is where I see this is coming to the end. And yes, from this zone, I believe we should be able with this bullish divergence, we're currently building up on the MACD and on the RSI, both moving average and the histogram, right? I believe this should find a comfort low here and create the reversal sign. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, I'm using here the multi time frame uh, analysis technique while coming with the divergence and the convergence. Uh, in the combination of the trading strategies, there are several uh, steps for each strategy that you can apply. I invite you to join our trading family, the Traders Academy Club, and to learn all these techniques, how they happen in real time. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, and I'll be more than happy to answer and hopefully it helps you in uh, your trading but this is for the pound yen i expect this zone to create a bottom divergence complete and flip make the flip on uh, the lower time frame uh, to provide us the entry and we can take this rally okay 
And again, afterwards, I believe that rallies to be sold to join the weekly corrective cycle. So these are my uh, top two picks for the week as the week starts. There are many more on my list that I want to follow for the week and to enjoy all our real-time trading opportunities and real-time education. Once again, I would like to invite you to join us in our trading family, Traders Academy Club. The link for that could be found below the video in the description and in the pinned comment. Uh, I hope you find this uh, video and the trading ideas helpful, useful, and my explanation, educational. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, stay tuned in the channel because during the week I upload more videos uh, if it's educational or trading ideas. So just make sure uh, to stay tuned and get notified. Just follow this uh, ring uh, notification button on the YouTube uh, in a subscription. And uh, that's it. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for your time watching this video. Stay safe, be well, and I'll see you around. Bye for now.